physical and chemical assay of fermentation products. This topic is a part of NMEICD project, entitled Creation of E-Contents on Fermentation Technology. Sponsored by the MHRD Government of India. Screening of fermentation products required. Good detection and assay technique. This also is true for most of the fermentation studies, at all points of development. These procedures must be simple, quick, reliable, and accurate. It must detect only the compound of interest, in relatively greater concentration, of various chemical contaminants from the growth medium. Sometimes, more than one assay procedure is possible, so one can choose the best assay procedure, with an alternate assay used periodically, to test the validity of the assay of choice. Physico-chemical assays. The choice of the particular assay techniques, from various available techniques depends on, the selectivity of the chemical reaction, or chemical reactions, or chemical analysis involved, since the fermentation broth contains, many compounds in addition to those to be determined. In fact, in some instances, at least a partial purification of the fermentation product may be necessary before carrying out the assay. Let us see different types of assay. Types of physical and chemical assays. 1. Titration and gravimetric analysis assay. 2. Turbidity analysis and cell yield determination assay. 3 spectrophotometric assay, 4. Chromatographic partition assay, 5. Gas chromatographic assay, 6. Other techniques, like infrared spectroscopy, nuclear magnetic resonance and mass spectroscopy, titration, and gravimetric analysis assay. Titration assay is used for the fermentation product, if the product is, acid, volatile, small molecular weight organic acids, distilled directly from the acidified broth, now this distillate used for the analysis, by titration, organic acid, of higher molecular weight, separated from the fermentation medium, by adsorption and dilution from a suitable anion exchange resins. Once organic acid separate from the medium, it is analyzed by titration, using pH indicator dye, such as bromothymol blue to a sample followed by titration with alkali of known strength. If electrometric titrations are used, dye is not used. If the product is insoluble, then it is precipitated, washed, dried, and weighed. That is, gravimetric analysis. Cell yield determination assay. The determination of cell in the given fermentation broth is done by cell yield determination assay, if the cells are only insoluble products present in the medium and grow as pellets. Cells along with the medium centrifuge in graduated tubes, and the volume of sedimented cells, measured in cubic centimeters. Physical and Chemical Assay of Fermentation Products This topic is a part of NMEICD project, entitled Creation of E-Contents on Fermentation Technology. Sponsored by the MHRD Government of India. Optical density is measured by the deflection of the light that is caused by the microbial cells when suspended in the light path of these instruments. Turbidity measurements of cell numbers usually standardized against some other techniques, such as plate counts, for determining number of cells. Standard curve is prepared relating optical density to plate count from each series of dilutions of the cell suspension. Once this standard graph is prepared, then one can count number of cells from the optical density. Titration and gravimetric analysis assay. Titration assay is used for the fermentation product, if the product is acid, volatile, small molecular weight, organic acids, distilled directly from the acidified broth. Now this distillate used for the analysis, by titration, organic acid fermentation products, which are in themselves colored but form different hue than that of the medium, measured directly in the colorimeter or, possibly after a simple purification step. If fermentation product, not colored then it is reacted, with chemical to form colored compound, and then measured by colorimeter. 
if the fermentation product is neither colored nor reacting with any chemical reagent to give visible color can be determined by absorption of ultraviolet radiation or fluoresce under ultraviolet light. The principles of analysis are similar to those for visible light determinations and under ultraviolet wavelengths chosen to allow maximum fluorescence or absorption of ultraviolet light. The use of spectrophotometric analysis to assay a previously unknown fermentation product is more difficult because the pure compound may not be available for use as a reference standard in preparing standard curve. Spectrophotometric analyses that do not yield quantitative results employed to detect the presence of unsuspected compounds in fermentation broth. The dilution of fermentation broth tested for ultraviolet absorption at individual wavelengths over entire spectrum of ultraviolet. The spectral analysis will show peaks of ultraviolet absorption at certain wavelengths, and other wavelengths will show little, if any, ultraviolet light absorption. Chromatographic partition assay. Paper and thin layer chromatography are forms of partition chromatography. The soluble or sample partition between a stationary phase, such as paper, or silica gel of thin layer plates, and a mobile phase consisting of a mixture of solvents, as these solvents migrate across the paper or silica gel layer. Titration and gravimetric analysis assay. Titration assay is used for the fermentation product if the product is acid, volatile, small molecular weight, organic acids, distilled directly from the acidified broth. Now this distillate used for the analysis by titration. Organic acid of higher molecular weight, separated from the fermentation according to the composition of product, there will be formation of different bands on the paper, or silica gel, which is to be colored by means of coloring agent, and then each band is measured for its movements from the origin, that is its RF value. Based on calculation of RF value of each band, it is possible to determine the chemically characteristic of particular product because each band represent chemical entity which can move up to certain extent in given solvent. Once organic acid separate from the medium, it is analyzed by titration, using pH indicator dye, such as bromothymol blue, to a sample followed by titration with alkali of known strength. If electrometric titrations are used, dye is not used. If the product is insoluble, then it is precipitated, washed, dried, and weighed. That is, gravimetric analysis. Gas chromatography assay. The gas chromatograph utilizes a form of partition chromatography to volatilize and separate certain types of fermentation products. On injection into the gas chromatograph, the fermentation product converted to gaseous state and in this state, it pushed by a stream of inert gas through a partitioning column. Chromatographic partition assay. Paper and thin layer chromatography are forms of partition chromatography. The soluble or sample partition between a stationary phase, such as paper, or silica gel of thin layer plates, and a mobile phase, consisting of a mixture of solvents, as these solvents migrate across the paper, or silica gel layer physical and chemical assay of fermentation products. This topic is a part of NMEICD project, entitled Creation of E-Contents on Fermentation Technology. Sponsored by MHRD Government of India.